Good morning, everyone, and thank you very much for coming. Some of you have met me before in your school and know me as Mrs. Cole. You may have met Mrs. Fox, who has a very cool teacher name. But while you are here at Southwest College, you call us by our friend name, which is Faye and Deirdre. On behalf of Deirdre and myself, we are so happy to welcome you, and we are both very excited to have you with us. Our name is something very important to us, and you might find your friends call you by a nickname, or your parents call you by a pet name. Make sure to introduce yourself to one another today with your friend name, and get to know new people while you are here at the cafe. In lots of places like India, Hawaii and Singapore, when children don't know a grown-up's name, they call them auntie or uncle. In other parts of China, they even call older strangers grandma or grandpa. These countries think it's very important for our communities to live together like families who are respectful and kind to each other, just like all of us here too. Very often when we go to school or different groups, we tend to be with people our same age. This can be a lot of fun, but something very exciting about the college is that we have people who come in and out every day who are different ages, from different places, and who enjoy different things. When you come into this college, you learn to respect, care, and enjoy being with a great mix of people. It is important we listen to one another and be supportive to everyone we meet today. One of my jobs here in the college is to teach people how to tell stories, and I'm going to finish with a quick one. This is one of my own true stories, and just like all of us here, we have lots of them that make us who we are. My one is about my nana and my nanny, and when I was the same age as our visitors from the school, they told the best stories. They also had much better biscuits and treats than my mum or dad. They told me lots of things about their life, and whilst they did so, they taught me lots of practical skills and made me realise that whenever I helped them, I always felt better about myself. My nana taught me how to make an entrance. My nanny taught me the importance of taking pride in myself and both taught me a great deal about love and kindness. They both also shared with me the odd cheeky story from their past that made me giggle lots. Their jewellery boxes were played with like they were pirate treasure Eating together was always the best meal of the week. Sometimes they needed my help, and sometimes I needed theirs. Whatever way round it was, each conversation and visit made me who I am now. I share this story with you because this is what sharing does. It brings us together and stays with us throughout our lives. Consider this as we go on this exciting journey of building new friendships. Now it's time for me to hand you over to our next chapter which our students have put a lot of hard work into. Please give them a big round of applause for encouragement.